what we are looking at now is one of the more horrific moments uh, in modern history. Uh, as you indicated, uh, Hamas attacked Israel in a barbaric way, killed hundreds and hundreds of men, women, and children. Israel has a right to defend itself. I don't think anyone disagrees with that. But what they are doing now in an indiscriminate way, uh, bombing refugee camps, bombing ambulances, killing thousands of innocent men, women, and children in violation of international law is simply not acceptable. It has got to stop. And you know, it is no great secret that the United States provides $3.8 billion every year uh, to Israel. Now they can say they don't want the money, fine. But if they're going to take our money and Biden wants to give them even more, they have got to recognize that they cannot offend American values, what we stand for, what civilized world stands for. So in my view, and I'm glad that a number of people recently, because I said this like several weeks ago, understand we need a pause right now in the bombing. We need to deal with the horrific humanitarian disaster that you described. I mean, the people have no water, they have no food, they have no fuel, their hospitals have been bombed. It is a total disaster. And we are on the brink of seeing thousands more people die. Hundreds of thousands of people were displaced. Where are they going? Can they return to their homes? Many of them are living in overcrowded conditions in United Nations facilities. And by the way, the UN has lost over 60 relief workers. So we are looking at a humanitarian disaster. The United States puts a lot of money into Israel. And our job is to say, yes, you have a right to defend yourself. But Palestinian children are as important as Israeli children, as important as American children. Stop the indiscriminate slaughter of innocent people.